user data to bootstrap our EC2 instances. And in the previous video, we saw how we used to create EC2 instance using security groups, using key pairs in the Terraform. So if you have not watched the previous video, I would recommend you to go ahead and watch the previous video and then come to watch this user data video. So whenever we click launch instance in the console, you get an option to choose an AMI. And after choosing AMI, you get an option to select the instance type. When you select the instance type, you get the option to configure instance details. And if you scroll down here, this there is an option to enter the user data. You can input user data in two forms using text or using a file. If you choose to put it as a text, you just have to enter your script here in this block. Or if you choose to put it as a file, you have to choose a file from your local machine, right? And same way in Terraform, you get two options. As a you can put it as a text in the code itself, or you can choose to have a file and refer it in your EC2 instance TF file. So if I go to the Terraform user data documentation, the, this is a Terraform documentation. I will paste the link in the description and you can go check it out. In this documentation, if I scroll down, you can see there are, there are two methods. The first is user data inserted in the TF file itself or user data located in the another file. So I'm going to show you both the methods and you can use any one of them. So the first is using the t user data itself in the TF file. So you can use this end of file uh, method and I'm going to copy this code here. This is the script by Terraform itself in the documentation. So in your TF file, you have to use this argument that is user underscore data. And after that, you have to paste in the code. Remember to put this and EOF. I don't really like this method because it makes my code very big and quite confusing. So it does not look so nice. So I would recommend you to go with the second method that is using the another file for the user data that is user data located in another file. So for that, I'm going to create a new file uh, and I've created a file name as script.sh. So for now, I'm going to delete this because I'm not using this approach. I don't like it so much. So I've created a new file and I'm going to put in my script here. So first of all, you need to have shebang slash bin slash bash. If you know scripting, you might know this as well. The second is going to be updating all the packages in my instance. So I'm using yum because my instance is Amazon Linux. So if, if you're using Ubuntu, you have to use apt package manager, but I'm using Amazon Linux. So I'm going to use yum update hyphen Y, which is going to update all my packages in the instance. The third is going to install HTTPD web server. That is Apache web server. And next I have to start this Apache web server. So I'm going to use system CTL start HTTPD service. And then I'm going to enable it. So whenever if I start the instance after stopping it, I should have the HTTP service started. And lastly, I'm going to print out this message on the screen whenever I paste my IP in the browser. So if I put my IP public IP on the browser, I should see this message. So I have my script ready and how am I going to refer this script.sh in the instance file? So for that, after user data, you have to use file, file and in the brackets, you have to put it in the inverted commas, the name of the file. So it is going to be script.sh and I'm going to save this now and save this settings as well. And if I go here, let's run Terraform plan to see what is exactly going to be created. So let's run Terraform plan. And so all the things that I've mentioned here in the code is going to be shown in the Terraform plan. And it says all the keys and security group, the EC2 instance is going to be created. So if I search it here, user data. So if you see user data here, you can see the code. It is in the base 64 encoded code. And let's run Terraform apply to see if you can get the user data running. So Terraform apply hyphen auto hyphen approve. If you want to know how I created the key pairs and all this stuff, a security group, please check out the previous video. I've created a detailed video explaining how everything, how you can create a look, how you can create a key pairs in the Terraform code. So now let's go back to the EC2 service and see if our instance is creating, you can see the security group has been created. Key pair has been created as well. The instance is still creating and we can wait for it to create. So as you can see, it says the apply complete and five resources has been added. So if I refresh here, I should see a Terraform EC2 running and we have to wait for the status check to go two by two because it might show some error before if you try to access it now. And you can see the status checks here. It is still in initializing phase to see if your user data actually works or not. There are two methods. I can directly go here 
and you are using HTTPS but you have to remove the S here because we are not using any SSL we, we are going to use HTTP and it says the site can't be reached because it is still in initializing phase so we are going to wait till now you can go to the connect section and let's go here there is a URL which shows what user data do you have here so I am going to use that URL curl and user data ec2 URL something high 169254 metadata but we can use it to get our instance user data as well so I am going to paste it here in Sol. so it says I am going to paste it I have pasted it and I am going to type user hyphen data and slash so if I type this it can show whatever user data I am using it's the same user data here as well so now let's check if our instance is up by status 2 by 2 so if you can see here the instance is up and if I copy this in, uh, if I paste it make sure to remove the S in the HTTPS and make it HTTP and if I press enter now you should see the message it says hello cloud champ from the host name and created by user data in Terraform and if you have it please subscribe now so this is how you use user data in Terraform using either file or you can paste it directly in your Terraform code so I hope you understood the video if you got the user data in your browser please subscribe to this channel and I'm going to create more videos and I am so thankful for all the love and support I'm getting so have a good day see you in the next video